Hello all, welcome to KFox and this is Arun Motori. In this session, I am going to cover one of the interesting topics that is companies removing QA or QA engineers by increasing the productivity with the help of artificial intelligence. Is this statement true? Is this statement really true? Let's find out in this session. And what exactly is the reality that is happening in the current day market in terms of the software testing projects and all? What is the reality? Are the companies really increasing their productivity with the help of AI tools and uh, they are actually removing the AI resources from their uh, projects? Is it a true thing? What is the exact reality that is happening in the projects? Let's find out in this session. So what's happening? We are going to find out in this session. So I'm not giving this uh, explanation of this particular topic in a random manner, guys. I'm not doing that on the fly. Rather, I got a chance to talk to different people in the industry. Some big heads also have talked to in the market who are, who are leading the software testing projects okay, or uh, leading the QA process in their uh, projects. And I even talked to different employees from different, uh, you know, multinational companies. And they're working as uh, into the software testing kind of field. I have talked to a lot of people in the market. After I have talked to a lot of people, I got a kind of uh, clarity of what exactly is happening in terms of AI in the market. How much amount of AI is being utilized by the companies to, to increase their work productivity. All these things I asked them. So what is the answer I got? So some people said that the work productivity in their projects got increased by 20 to 50 percent guys. Some people said 20 percent. Some people said uh, work productivity got increased by 30 percent. Some said 50 percent of work productivity got increased in their projects. Okay. Now it makes sense that with the help of AI, the companies in the market are increasing their work productivity. They identified that how to increase the work productivity with the help of AI. Different AI related stuff they are using in their projects and different levels of the project. And somehow they are getting the work productivity and they are getting a feeling that uh, how much productivity they are calculating and it's uh, reflecting that some companies 20%, some companies 30%. Some companies, even 50% of the work productivity, they are experiencing with the help of this AI in their projects, implementing the AI in their projects. So we cannot avoid AI. We have to accept the reality that AI is actually increasing our work productivity. That's fine. The next question I asked them. Because of this increasing of the work productivity with the help of AI in your projects, in, is the company where you are working, okay, is removing the QA from the team is the next question I asked. The answer is they said no. Simply they said what? No. No, our, our company is not removing the QA just because uh, the work productivity we got increased with the help of uh, implementing AI in our project or project processes. Okay. Then how it is happening then? What is the use? What is the use by just by using AI you are increasing the work productivity and you are not removing the resources as a business. What is the advantage of the AI asked them? Then I got another surprising answer guys. That is, yeah, our company is not removing the existing employees, but we are not actually recruiting the new ones. You see, somewhere it is affecting, right? Just because these companies are, uh, okay, are implementing the AI in their projects and uh, increasing their work productivity at this point of time, they may not be removing the existing resources, but the new recruitment has stopped. They are they are doing the recruitment in a proper manner, in a conscious manner these days. Unnecessarily, they are not, uh, you know, recruiting one employee. And also, when I talk to other people, right, they also said the same thing, guys. They also said the same thing. Yeah, uh, the openings are only for the experienced people. For the freshers, openings are not there. For the freshers kind of people, it's very difficult to get into a company. As a QA engineer or something, it's very difficult to get in. But uh, at this point of time, AI is evolving and is actually being used in the companies to increase the work productivity. And now companies are in a kind of a stage or state where they're confused whether to recruit new people or let's rely on AI. That's what is actually happening. Since they are able to see some work productivity, they're simply not recruiting new people. They are simply trying to utilize AI and even experiment more. Experiment period is going on guys. They're able to see some results and with the help of the results, 
they don't want to fire existing employees but they want to they are stopping the intaking of the new employees new hiring is not going on only when one company uh, from one company an employee has resigned and going to another company that slot is left out they are only recruiting that for, for that particular slot most of the companies that is happening guys very rarely freshers are taken into the companies okay new recruitments are halted for a while that's what is the reality guys we have to accept there is no other way okay now we need to find out some other things another aspect of the story is also happening along now you can get the clarity right what exactly is happening in the market with the help of ai by implementing this ai into their uh, workplace their uh, work productivity got increased for most of the companies because of which they are not removing the qa existing qa or experienced qa from the team rather they are halting the process of recruiting new people into the team okay like freshers into the team as qa that's one thing that we have to notice well fine the next thing there is a drawback also guys there is a drawback of uh, too much relying on the ai okay so there are a lot of people these days right you know at uh, different management levels you know uh, they will simply speak out saying that you know because we are in we are using ai so that ai lover guys whatever the people are calling these days that kind of people if they are at the low level no problem but if they are at the management level in the company what they will propose just think the people who love ai to get implemented in the projects are at the management level at a higher level senior uh, company what they will suggest they'll simply say that why to recruit so many people let's fire some qa we don't need them let's not recruit no new people we'll we'll put more investments into the ai so that our work, work productivity will get increased and our money will be saved business money will be saved that's what uh, you know some people in your company or in the companies that are in the market are you know trying to propose new plans for the companies and uh, giving them a picture saying that with the help of ai we can do more lot more we don't need qa engineers anymore yes that is happening and that happened also and also the companies which believed such kind of uh, management people who are ai lover guys people after believing them they have invested a lot of money into this ai initiatives and they have increased their work productivity as expected or as suggested by the ai lover guy in their company who are at the bigger levels or bigger heads in the company but to some extent they were able to see the results but what exactly is happening is when this project goes into the market is get released into the market as part of the, as part of the projects when this particular project which is built with the help of ai more and less number of resources is hitting the market they are not getting favorable results what they thought is going wrong okay what they thought is actually going wrong in the reality so the projects are failing by relying too much on ai and ai tools to increase the work productivity in their projects and because of they are able to see while working during the working process while they are building the projects and all okay it it will look very surprising and you know shocking kind of you know very like a uh, kind of very happy feeling will come you know i don't need so many resources just with the help of this ai and ai tools i can just deliver the projects into the market that's what is the idea and they are seeing the results also during the projects before the re release before the release while the project is going on they are able to see the productivity that's 100% right but once this particular project gets released into the market if something goes wrong can you scold or uh, can you uh, can you criticize the uh, ai here what you will say if you shout at ai what it will say i'm just a ai you have relied too much on me it will simply say that but in the place of the ai if a qa engineer was there okay these companies will eat eat that qa engineers like anything guys okay they were this particular company people will eat uh, the qa engineers eat the brains of the qa engineers like anything by shouting at them saying that how come you release this particular how can how come you miss this particular defect it's very costly for me okay so current scenario here is i'm not saying ai is bad i'm not saying okay uh, we should not fight the qa what i mean to say here is come to a balanced state of mind i'm advising the companies different uh, software testing companies are companies which are actually taking the role uh, you know running the process of testing qa process in their companies as part of testing the projects 
I want to only request or say only one thing is that is uh, don't trust AI too much. Don't uh, be fascinated with the immediate results the AI tools are giving by mesmerizing you saying that a lot of work productivity got increased just before your eyes. At this point of time, it may look good, but after after the project gets released into the market, then the actual reality comes into picture where you lose more money than having the QA in your team. Okay, you will end up spending even a lot of money to come out of that production box and all the stuff. That's what is a reality guys. That's what is a reality. So what the companies need to do? Companies need not uh, completely blindly go with AI. Rather, they have to go with a balanced approach where how much amount of AI, how much amount of resources they should decide. They cannot completely eliminate QA from the process. Okay. If they completely eliminate the QA engineers from the process and completely or blindly depend on the AI to AI and AI tools, what will happen? This company projects will met with a disaster for sure. So take the decisions in a balanced way, even though you love AI and you know that AI is actually helping you a lot in that kind of productivity. Yes, AI humans plus AI is success guys. Okay, humans plus AI is success. If you use in your company, if there are human beings like QA engineers or whatever the IT engineers play with the help of AI tools, then these companies are able to hit the market in a faster manner and they're getting the results, success kind of results they are getting, positive results they are getting. But if a company is purely re relying on QA team without uh, utilizing the AI, that is also a drawback. If these days the competition is high even for the companies. If they don't implement AI, they will be lost somewhere in the market. Competition, they will be lost. So there is a pressure for the companies. That's okay. We can understand the company's situations and companies actually need to, you know, even implement AI. Without AI also, it's not going to work. So humans plus AI are completely depending on AI is also a bad decision. Guys. Okay. For these companies, completely de depending on the AI tools is also a bad decision. So the companies need to be taking a balanced approach of how many QA human resources are required and how much amount of AI in a balanced approach they have to go and in a conscious manner they have to go and release the projects into the market without facing much heat so that their profits will not go to loss. Simple. That is the one thing. Okay. That's the one thing that you need to understand. So is it good to remove QA by increasing work productivity using AI? If the company has a balanced approach, that is the answer is yes. But here company should not remove the entire QA team. By, uh, by completely depending on the AI and AI tools. That is a wrong decision. Okay. So combination of the QA engineers and AI is required these days, guys. Okay. That is a reality. And what is the future? Future is also same, guys. Future is simply human plus AI is equal to success. Only, only AI is not success. Only QA is not success. But uh, QA plus AI is equal to success in the software testing projects in the market these days. Yeah, definitely guys, we, uh, we, can, we have to accept the impact of the AI in the market. A, definitely the impact will be there for a while. Okay. The impact is simply that AI is going to increase the productivity and uh, speed up the process of uh, what the software testers can test. Whatever that used to take good amount of time can take very less amount of time with the help of AI. In a matter of time, the tasks will be completed with the help of AI. AI, AI is actually speeding up the process of Q, speeding up the QA process. That's what it is doing. By increasing this kind of speed and productivity, right, automatically the number of resource count will get reduced. And uh, in this kind of situations, when I talk to, okay, whatever the points I'm putting before you are just, uh, you know, they may be right or wrong, but uh, it's all what, what I'm, whatever I'm sharing is like, you know, uh, from my experience of discussing with different type of people in the market, okay, big heads in the market, some uh, software test engineers in the market, IT people in the market, after that only, I have reviewed it and then putting these points before you guys. Okay. Don't take this, uh, to, this session points too seriously. Whatever I want, I want, I'm com conveying in this particular session or, you know, the observations and are from that uh, discussions that happened between me and the different, uh, people that I know in the market. Okay. As an outcome, we have, we have to go with the outcome, right? You know, we cannot confirmly say that this is happening. That is happening. Okay. So when, when I talk to the people, what is the reality that is happening that I'm coming to know and then I'm explaining that to you. That's the only thing. So another point I would like to share here is uh, uh, because of this AI, will the companies will completely remove, remove the QA engineers from the team. 
no you know uh, or the company will completely implement the ai in their uh, projects and you know they may not be needing much resources the resource count may go down all these questions i was asking but uh, what was the answer i got from one of the person in the who is a big head in the market what is the answer that i got is very simple guys yeah whatever your thought process is uh, right but uh, we have to put that question into a different dimension that person mentioned okay so we we can see the productivity is getting increased with the help of the ai and ai tools just because of that at particular point of time we can we can simply say that qa engineers will be removed from the projects because our productivity is getting increased right but that's what is not the right thing that you have to see the metric as but what what i got a, what i what, one answer i got in a different way is something like this guys yeah your point of view is right but what exactly is happening is there are a lot of old projects for which ai need to be enabled such kind of projects are coming into the picture okay for the next 2 uh, to 5 years 2 or 3 or 5 years what is going to happen is we have hell lot of projects in the market which want to get ai enabled okay and for that lot of resources are required for this projects to enhance their ai capabilities for the softwares or whatever the projects that happened so far in the market need to get ai enabled they have to integrate some ai features into them for that for making that happen lot of resources are required right so that is a requirement of the resources is going to increase okay the requirement because a lot of projects will come into the picture and say that uh, we want ai enabled features in our projects because of that lot of workforce is required so to one one dimension it looks like ai ai productivity is getting increased because of the ai work productivity is getting increased in the projects so because of that the workforce is not that much required we don't need to recruit a lot of people but other side of the kind what is happening just because ai is just now came and is revolutionizing the current era from going to the old one to the new one we are we are actually leaping to the new era that is ai world and every software or projects want to be get ai enabled to beat the competition and all because of that lot of project work is going to come and because of that lot of resources are required to work on that kind of projects which will enable the softwares towards ai okay they uh, all the softwares which want to get ai enabled needs lot of work actually they are not simple projects lot of big projects are there for that lot of uh, scope is there for the number of resources also to get reduce so there are lot of discussions happening like this everything is in a confusion mode guys okay simply saying everything is in a confusion mode but whatever the information i got to know i thought of sharing it today in this particular session that how ai is impacting our workplace the resources are getting reduced or increased everything i covered in this session right yes ai is really increasing the work productivity but that doesn't mean that we don't need the resources since lot of new projects are coming to get themselves enabled as ai again lot of workforce is required okay that's what is a conclusion i would like to give so let's uh, forget uh, let's not worry too much about this guys let's uh, you know let's focus on this part humans plus ai if someone is not uh, that much great at ai i request everyone to actually learn about ai know more about ai how to implement this ai in your workplace be ready for that okay in different areas you have to you should not uh, still do the old processes without ai now humans plus ai is only success guys and also hope that we'll get a lot of more projects and a lot of workforce should be required to be recruited in the companies to at least to get such kind of projects which need ai enabled for the next 2 to 5 years that that's going to happen guys so be aware of that and keep learning ai don't lose the hope in the job okay lose on the jobs that software testing jobs and all still they are required without qa lot of disasters are happening no matter how much ai is powerful and all but qa engineers are must in the projects okay so with that note i am ending this session so that's all for this session thank you bye bye